Hey there, folks. Today, I'm diving into one of the most heated diplomatic showdowns of our time, Canada versus India. At the heart of this tension is the murder of Canadian Sikh activist Hardeep Singh Najjar. Let's break it down. So, picture this. It's the ASEAN summit in Laos, and Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau and Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi have a brief, albeit tense, encounter. This meeting comes a year after Trudeau accused India of being involved in Najjar's assassination, a claim India has vehemently denied. Now, Trudeau's been pretty tight-lipped about the specifics of their chat, but he did emphasize the need to address some real issues. He's made it clear that the safety of Canadians and upholding the rule of law are top priorities for his government. And you can bet this murder case is right at the center of it all. Najjar, in case you missed it, was gunned down in June 2023 outside a Sikh temple in British Columbia. This high-profile murder has not only rocked Canada, but has also drawn international scrutiny. Canada's Foreign Affairs Minister, Melanie Jolie, even described the current state of affairs with India as tense and very difficult, reflecting the gravity of the situation. Meanwhile, India has categorically denied any involvement, calling the accusations absurd and motivated. During the summit, Modi didn't have a formal bilateral meeting with Trudeau, but both leaders had a brief exchange. This encounter underscores the deep-seated tensions and the diplomatic tightrope both nations are walking on. Canada has been pushing for India's cooperation in the ongoing investigation into Nijar's murder, but so far, India hasn't budged. Trudeau has been vocal about the safety concerns for Indo-Canadians and the broader Canadian community. He's committed to getting to the bottom of this case and holding those responsible accountable. Adding another layer to this complex saga, the US is also investigating an alleged assassination plot linked to India and Najjar. Unlike Canada, India responded by launching its own investigation, suggesting that rogue operatives might be involved. All eyes are now on how these diplomatic tensions will unfold. Trudeau and Modi's brief interaction might be a small step toward resolution but the road ahead is fraught with challenges. Both nations need to find common ground to move past this impasse. So what's next? Trudeau is set to testify at the public inquiry into foreign interference in Ottawa, where he'll likely face more questions about these threats from India. Stay tuned as this high-stakes drama continues to evolve. That's it for today, folks. If you found this deep dive into Canada-India relations insightful, hit that like button and subscribe for more. Catch you in the next one.